early 1970s were strange times for children's video entertainment. On television, the surreal fantasies of Sid and Marty Croft featured life-size foam puppets and inventive surroundings. At the movies, the bizarre Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was a golden ticket. When considered in that context, this film, Telezonia, fits right in with its theme of children transported to unusual lands. Shown to kids in classrooms nationwide, along with model phones to practice on, Telezonia was meant to teach kids how to use a telephone and a phone book properly. Though some may have been a bit distracted by the giant talky phone letters and the oddly dressed fellow who acts as their tour guide. Telezonia is actually a remake of an earlier Bell System film from the late 1940s called Adventures in Telezonia. But that film, though it has the same theme, lacks the zaniness of this 1970s version, which has now become a cult classic on the web and on the ephemeral film circuit. I think you'll enjoy this classic from the at t Archives and History Center. <laughs> They're going. Picnics. Ants go to picnics, my grandmother says. Picnic at Riverdale Park. Today, my uncle, take us, got free rides, free passes for rides. The roller coaster? The dodge Free rides, got passes from Carson's Hardware. Way to go. Can I bring my sister? Sure. My uncle says as many as Carl will take. My mom's making sandwiches when she knows how many are going. I'll go up and ask my mom if it's all right. I'll oh, tell Greenberg. And Sandy. Oh, that's Sandy. I'll go get my sister. My uncle wants to leave as soon as he can, so hurry. Hey, everybody, I thought of something. Why don't you come to our place and telephone? We'll telephone instead of running. Great idea. Let's go. Thanks a lot, Larry. Hurry up. Let's go. Hey, Sandy, you want to go My folks always use the phone when they need it. It's faster. Sure beats running. Lisa, you go. I, uh, I don't think Ellie can go today. Joe, you try. That's okay. Pa can go ahead of me. Pa, you call home. Uh, my mother doesn't like me to use other people's phones. You get my mother on the phone, and I'll tell you what to say. Oh, I remember. I hurt my finger. Um, do you want to try calling Sandy? I, uh, I don't know how. I have never learned the phone. Me neither. Do you, Lisa? Come on, we can still make it if we run. Not our phone isn't good for anything anyway. Look at the phone! It's like magic! voice in the phone, let the telephone steer in. Send your voice across the miles, cheerful worlds are like friendly smiles. Wow, it looks like a tunnel. Where do you think it goes? Who do you think? In there. Come on. Yeah. Give me a hand. Up to a... Hi, everybody. I'm Telly. Put your voice where your friends can hear it. Put your voice in the phone. Let the telephone steer it. 
Send your voice across the miles. Cheerful words are like friendly smiles. Greet your pals in distant places. Pleasant voices, happy faces. Pleasant voices, happy faces. Everybody, rest stop. Can't fly the whole day long, you know. Better than a roller coaster. Yeah. Now, let's take a look down there. That's one of our telephone company crews at work. In the center of big cities, where there are lots of telephones, the wires go underground. The two men are connecting new wires. The woman is a supervisor who helps them and makes sure the work is done properly. Goodbye. Now. We've still got a ways to go, so let's up and away. But where are we going? Telesonia. Is that near Chicago? <laughs> Will we be in time for lunch? We'll be there soon. Wow! Something I want you to see. These are some of the people who speak for the telephone company. The operators. When you talk to the operator, you talk to a real person. Please deposit 45 cents for the first three minutes. Thank you for waiting. Go ahead, please. And the operator helps you by giving you information. That area code is 212, sir. I'm sorry. And by connecting you to phones and to people you can't get by yourself. Thank you, sir. Your party's on the line now. Go ahead, please. You also talk to the operator in an emergency. I'll connect you with the fire department right away. Time to go, folks. Everybody. Well, where are we going? Telezonia's just down the line. someone else I'd like you to meet. Say hello to an old friend. Telephone company installer. Installers put in new telephones or take them out when you move. And if something needs fixing, they're the ones who come along to fix it for you. Hi! Hi! Okay, folks. Next stop, Telezonia! <laughs> my magic spell. Stand back, everybody. Franklin, Faraday, Watson, Bell. Open, Telezonia. Put us under your spell. place in Telezonia where we put telephones together. Now, there are many different kinds of phones in use in our country today. There's the typical business phone. There's one like that in the office where my mother works. There's the wall telephone. 
We have one like that in our kitchen wall. The trim line phone. My aunt has one like that. And there's several others. And they each have the same kind of parts. A mouthpiece. To talk into. An earpiece. For listening. A round dial or push button so that you can get the number you want. And wires and circuits and a bell inside. They make the telephone work. And a case to hold it all. Now, on the case, there's a cradle so that you can rest the handset when it's not in use. It's very important the phone handset always be in its cradle when it's not being used. Or else your friends will not be able to call you. Why are telephones in different colors? What do the colors mean? They're just pretty colors to match the colors of your house. But regardless of the color, they all work the same way. Are we going to use a telephone wire we're in Telezonia? Yeah! Certainly! Come on, let's do that right now. How many of you would like to become full-fledged citizens of Telezonia? Raise your hands. Yeah! Here's the first requirement. You must know how to answer the telephone properly. Who knows just how that's done? Come on, come on, speak up, speak up. The phone's ringing. It should be answered. Huh? Do we have some questions here? And do we need some answers? How do you answer the phone? Is that a good question or is it not? Let me see if I can answer it for you. Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Speak out your name or answer with things like, Hello, good morning, this is Bill. Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Then you will know what message it brings. Now can you do it? Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Speak out your name. I'll answer with things like, Hello, Lisa talking. Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Then you will know what message it brings. Do you want to be next? Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Speak out your name. I'll answer with things like, Good morning, this is Larry. Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Then you will know what message it brings. Would you like to be next? Everybody sing. Pick up the phone as soon as it rings. Speak out your name. Or answer with things like, who's that? Joe, Joe, look what you've done. That's not the right way to answer. All right. Hello, this is Joe. Way to go, Joe. Don't forget, if there's a telephone number for someone to call, be sure to write it down. Can you remember to write it down? Can you remember to write it down? Can you remember to write it down? And can you remember to write it down? Over here, everybody. I want to show you something. Now, this is just like the dial on the telephone. Except, of course, it's very much larger. And all the numbers and letters are mixed up. But I'm going to ask you to put them all in the right places. And you can use this phone right here as a guide. But what for? I knew you'd ask. It's like this. You have to know your letters and your numbers up to nine. To call a friend who's at the other end of the line. You have to know your numbers and your letters from A to Z. To use the telephone and the telephone directory. You have to know your numbers and your letters from A to Z. To use the telephone and the telephone directory. You have to know your letters and your numbers up to nine. To call a friend who's at the other end of the line. You have to know your numbers and your letters from A to Z. To use the telephone and the telephone directory. Everybody say, you have to know your numbers and your letters from A to Z.
What's the matter, folks? Got some left over? Yeah. I got two out of the two CMOs. And I got two eyes. Oh. Joe, your O's are different. Now, now, this round letter O goes right here after the end. And that tall number zero for operator goes right here after the nine. Be sure you remember the difference. And Lisa, that number one goes right in the first circle. And that I goes right after what? Eight. Right. There you are. I don't think the telephone company is very smart. He doesn't even know the alphabet. Some of the letters are missing. Missing? Missing? There are letters missing? Well, how do you know? I counted. There's only 24. Yeah. Well, who knows what letters are missing? Q, there's no Q, B, T, and the T, and the R. Right. And the Z is in here at the end. The Q and Z are missing, all right. We're, we're not, not missing. missing. We're just not on the dial. dial. But we're, we're in the, the telephone, telephone directory, directory, and you'll, you'll use, use us in a while. while. Telephone books, we call them. Almost every telephone number is listed here. If you want to call anyone at all, just look up the number in the book for the city where the person lives. Now, here's how to find a name. Now, listen closely. All the names are always listed in order, like the alphabet. Now, if the last name begins with the letter A, like uh, Adams, Anderson, Atkins, and so on, well, you'd find it in front of the book. Hmm? Yeah. It would then be followed by those names beginning with the letter B. And then all the C's, all the D's, and so on through the alphabet. Right? right. Okay. Now, which name would come first in the book? Smith or Thompson? Smith! Mm. And would you find Wallace towards the back of the white pages or the front? Back. Good. Now, listen closely. All of the names that start with the same letter, like uh, Adams, Anderson, Atkins, for example, are found in the A section. But to know exactly how to get there, you got to know the second letter in each name. A.D. Adams comes before A.N. Anderson. A.N. Anderson comes before A.T. Atkins. But what about people like Baker and Bass? They both start with B.A. Right, Paul. And how do you decide which is first? Go to the next letter, I guess. Good. B-A-K Baker comes before B-A-T Bates because... Because K comes before T in the alphabet. Right. Simple, isn't it? You've just learned how to find names and words alphabetically. It works the same in the telephone book, and in the dictionary, and in the encyclopedia, and in lots of other books. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here's two names exactly the same. John Mason, John Mason. Do they live at the same place? No. One is on Elm Street, the other is on River Road. Well, that's how you know they're not the same. Now, when you look up a name in the phone book, make sure you know, too, where the person lives. In the front of every phone book is lots of useful information. How to call the sheriff, the fire department, the police, what number to call to have your phone repaired, and how much it costs to call outside your city. But how do I find the name of my school? Well, schools are usually listed first by the name of your city or county, and then alphabetically by name. Look, some of these pages are yellow. In the yellow pages, the telephone numbers are listed according to various businesses. You can find accountants, barbers, ice cream makers, movie theaters, plumbers, toy stores, any business with a phone. They're listed alphabetically by business in the yellow pages. Take your time. Practice looking up friends or people you or your parents know in business. Write down their numbers and keep a list of the ones you use most often. Say, hey, here's Ellen Greenberg's number. She lives down the street from me on View Park. I know her father's name's Albert. Well, what's her number? 5550926. Can I call her? We wanted to go on a picnic Certainly. with her. That's right, we want to call our friends. Okay. I think I found Sandy's number. Good. And I want to call home. Okay, then. 
Let's go. Yeah! Hey, kids, over here. I want to show you something. We are definitely, positively, absolutely going to learn to make a call. Right now, pick up the handset. That's the first part. Listen to the tone. And then start. Put your finger in the circle of the number you need. Turn the dial to the right with a little bit of speed. Turn the dial to the right till your finger goes no more. Take your finger out. It'll go to where it was before. And when you finished all the numbers, you'll hear it ring. That's how you do the telephone thing. Okay, you first. Got your number? Make your call and be sure to wait for at least ten rings for someone to answer me before you hang up. Of course, use this phone with a touch tone dial. It's easy. Instead of a round dial, there are buttons. Just push each button in turn. Let's try. Pick up the handset. That's the first part. Listen for the tone. And then start. Push the button down with the number you want. Or the button by the letters if the letters are in front. And when you've finished all the numbers, you'll hear it ring. That's how you do the telephone thing. You're just funny noise. Well, that's the busy signal. It means somebody else is using the line. Hang up, wait a while, and try again. Meanwhile, you use this instrument here. It's a payphone. Got any coins in your pocket? Give it a try. Need some help? Young fella. Here's a couple. Of coins. So you can make your call. This is a public telephone. That you have to pay to use. Like paying admission to the movie. It's not like a vending machine. You don't get any change back. You must have the right coins. Lift the handset. Drop the coins right into the slot. Listen for the tone before you start. Put your finger in the circle of the number you need. Turn the dial to the right with a little bit of speed. Turn the dial to the right till your finger goes no more. Take your finger out, the dial will go to where it was before. And when you finish all the numbers, you'll hear it ring. That's how you do the telephone thing. Hi, Sammy. This is Joe. You want to go on a picnic with us? Good. Be at Larry's house as quick as you can. Great. Bye. Can I make my call now? Sure. Use this phone here. Are you, Are you ready? ready? Put your finger in the circle of the number you need. Turn the dial to the right with a little bit of speed. Turn the dial to the right till your finger goes no more. Picnic with John and his uncle. Sis can come too. Have her go to Larry's house right away. Goodbye. and we're in the main square of Telezonia. The operator wants to know our number. It's right in the center of the round dial, or if you're calling from a touch-tone dial, it's right at the bottom of the keyboard. 555-2368. Five, 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 six, six. Well, bye. Now stay by the phone in case they call back for more information and for better directions. <laughs> Good going, crew. 
Public phones should never be played with or damaged, because you never know. Someone might want to make a call to help you someday. Oh, I almost forgot. <coughs> As a reward for your service, I hereby make you all honorary citizens of Telezonia. <laughs> and issue you each a passport, good for any time, for proper use of the telephone. Yeah. Yeah. Friendly smiles Reach your pals in distant places 